Well, hey, welcome to another Lucky Loon Outdoors. As I said in a previous video, I've got some uh, bad news and some good news. Um, so, now the bad news is, if you saw my other video with that red BMW F800 GS, it got totaled. So, I was actually renting it out through Rider Share, and on the very first rental, it got totaled by the uh, person who rented it. Now they did walk away from it. The uh, what happened was they were in Wisconsin, went along the Brule River, and they came up to a turn where it goes from like 55 down to like 15, right, right along the river. And they didn't notice the speed change, and they basically creamed into the guardrail, going like 45-ish miles an hour on almost a 90 degree, 90 degree turn, almost went into the river. Um, but the crash bar saved the leak from getting crushed and a lot of other things. And they walked away from it. Um, they had a little bit of shoulder stuff that had a rotator cuff issue they had to get dealt with, but it could have been a fatal crash. The person survived, walked away, and my bike is, is toasted. So that video up, that's up on YouTube is the last video you will see of that motorcycle. So that's the bad news. Um, with rider share, so it's my first time dealing with having one of my machines totaled, and obviously I've never rented it out before, and my experience wasn't really that bad. So it was totaled out. Uh, it's basically treated like it would normally be with a insurance situation, but it was through rider share. They were basically the insurance company, so they gave me. Uh, I had to go back and forth them a little bit, but they gave me what I thought was a very fair. Uh, amount of money for the motorcycle and they uh, covered all the accessories as well and I found out it's extremely important that every single thing you have on your bike is listed out in the listing on the owner side of things because if it's not listed there it won't be covered for instance I had a new front rim an Excel rim from Woody's Wheelworks that was like a $700, $700 rim it was brand new uh, brand new tires, and uh, they were converted to tubeless by Woody's Wheel, Wheel Works. So because those were not itemized on my listing prior to being rented, it was not covered. However, the rider's personal insurance motorcycle policy did cover those items. So just a little bit of insight for those of you looking at rider share. Owner's perspective, I have my bike totaled. It was very fair. It was a good process. I wasn't expecting it to be as easy as it turned out to be. The processing times were a little bit long, but nothing that was that was too terrible. So, good news is I'm picking up a new motorcycle on Friday. Brand new. I'm not going to tell you what it is until I post the video. It'll give you a couple hints. It's got a 21-inch front wheel and an 18-inch rear wheel. It's going to be a lot of fun. So, see if you can figure out what it is. I'm looking forward to it. And I've got a trip planned with the Minnesota Wisconsin ADV Moto Camping Group here in a couple weeks. We are going to be going up to northern Minnesota and going on literal off road trails that are for ATVs and dirt bikes, but these bikes are allowed on them. We're going to be going on forestry roads. We're going to be going on um, some discovery route roads. We're going to be going up to Crane Lake. We're going to be going over to Ely. We're going to be going through Babbitt. We're going to be going on the Echo Trail. Like There's, there's a bunch of trails. So it is a Friday, Saturday, Sunday trip. And we're camping at a different location each night. And if you include Thursday, some people are camping up there at the start point as well. So look out for that video coming up soon. I also have a uh, my video from fishing in Canada for a week that's going to be getting posted here soon. So once I can get the footage recovered, because I did lose a lot of footage off my camera, um, we'll get that posted up. You guys can see that. So always check out the uh, the first and only video of the red BMW. A little bit of a little bit of Lake Superior and some of the uh, Superior National Forest on that video. Yeah. Any questions? If you can figure out what that motorcycle is going to be, put it in the comments. I'll let you know if you're right, or at least give you a hint. So take care, everybody. Have fun and stay safe out there.